Half a month after the incident at Corellia Fortress, a sense of lingering unease still hung over the Empire. The government increased patrols by the railway military police as part of their counter-terrorism measures. While the noble faction bolstered their provincial armies, there were even rumors that they'd hired several Jaeger corps. At the center of everything was the Imperial Liberation Front. They had allied with a terrorist group from the Republic of Calvert to attack the Trade Conference in Crossfell. And as we'd seen firsthand, had attacked Gorelia Fortress in an attempt to fire the two railway guns stationed there. They'd made it abundantly clear that they were no mere insurgents. These were dangerous people we were dealing with. And following their attempts to target Chancellor Osborne and the Reformist faction, rumors started to spread of a possible connection between the Imperial Liberation Front and the Noble faction itself. Meanwhile, new information was filtering in from Crossbell that surprised us all. During the conference, one of the representatives of Crossbell's state government made the daring declaration that Crossbell would soon declare its independence breaking free from its neighbors, Calvert and Erebonia. To no one's surprise, both the Imperial government and the noble faction dismissed it as nothing more than delusional raving. But one thing was clear, that declaration only served to increase the tension in Erebonia and across the continent. Cool, clear autumn day. The Academy's prestigious board of directors gathered for their first meeting of the year. And that concludes my biannual report. Good, good. It seems the Academy is running like a well-oiled machine. No administrative issues to speak of. Student performance is sitting comfortably above the national average on exams and on general aptitude tests, too. The second-year students seem to be having a banner year as well. The student council president in particular has built up an outstanding array of extracurricular achievements. <laughs> well, she attended last month's trade conference, and from what I hear, she put the professional secretaries to shame. I only wish the conference could have ended on a more... positive note. I'll say, the share prices of my company have been on a real roller coaster ride ever since. Undoubtedly, what happened at the trade conference has wreaked havoc on the economy as a whole. But moving on. I couldn't help but notice in the recent exam reports that Class 1 and 2's academic performance seems to be slipping. Perhaps the preferential treatment given to the upper-class students is hindering their scholastic development? Well, students belonging to the nobility are allowed to return home during August to learn more about their family's lands. It's a tradition here, but if I may, traditions accumulate and hold meaning only so long as they're preserved. Our nation's culture, its arts, its social classes, all are rich with tradition that, after all, does not this very institution champion the ideals of its founder? Indeed it does. Though I've always understood Dreyfus' intent to be the founding of an academy for the people. Even 200 years ago, when education was seen as the province of the nobility, male commoners were permitted to enroll. Today, we have plenty of young women attending, and the commoners easily outnumber the nobles on campus. Perhaps it's time we started taking strides. You seem to be laboring under a few mis- Retainers served none. From that vantage, the structure of the academy in it. And if that's so, what is there to suggest that it's not the social order itself that has become the aberration? Well... For one, if that were the case, it would be far easier for me to see my views put into practice. But I can hardly get a word in edgewise between you two. Well, I'd certainly enjoy a return to the way things- 
Our apologies. Well, our role here is to consider your views and work toward implementing them. <sighs> See what I mean? Would you be so kind as to help me out here, Prince? I'm here to moderate this board. It wouldn't... That said, I'm sure your pa... I suppose I should have known better than to look to... <laughs> It warms my heart to see such a fine teacher-student relate. Now, if I may, I'd like to... We've already touched on the issues... Re I'd like to stress again that the... Well, I'm certainly inclined... We'll have to rely on the Foundation direct... You can leave that to me. The other matter I'd like to review is the... Or more specific... Mm hmm. Setting aside the fact that my daughter... I think we need to reconsider how the class should be... While it certainly proved an excellent... I have serious doubts. It would be difficult with the terrorists at large and the... At the very least, I believe it may... We could always resume them one... Hmm. Hmm. Arise, O oh youth, and become the found... I'm sure you all recognize the words of Emperor Dreykos. It's my belief that Class 7's act... They stood together to stop a... Tr no one ordered them to do it. They took action of their own free will. Some might call it recklessness. Some may think it rash. Some may even venture to call it hubris. However, as chairman of this academy, I'm incredibly proud of what the brave young men and women of Class 7 achieved. Your Highness. Huh. Troubled times may lay in store, but I believe that makes something like Class 7's field studies. The experiences they're having now will help them find the strength and the means to press on through adversity. I can't be the only one who feels this way, can I? They do seem to be showing remarkable... Although I have no idea how much my daughter is really... <laughs> I could say the same of my hot... I do wonder about my brother some. However, it does seem that enrolling in... With the Academy Festival coming next month, we hadn't even planned a field study. So the issue at hand is just whether to hold a field study at the end of this month or not. I'd like to ask those... In All right, I'd like to begin. The festival will run for two days next month, the 23rd and the 24th. Equipment setup and the other preparatory work will begin, but there's a lot of preparation needed. That's all the more reason to figure out what exactly... Some of our options include displays, events, stage... Does that sound right, Crow? Yeah, though no class I know would settle for... I mean, come on, no one ever said, boy, we better... Run. Well, either way, I'd like to... St We're just brainstorming right... <laughs> Would it kill you all? I know, I know. It's just... It's kind of hard. You're one to talk, standing up there with your nervous fidgeting. <sighs> well, I can... The board of directors... And those of us with... <sighs> you can say that again. We can't even be sure whether there'll be a field... That's about the long and short. With everything that happened during last month's field study, it honestly wouldn't surprise me if they just cancelled it. Hmm. <laughs> I can't say I have any particular feelings of attachment to our field studies, but I refuse to accept needless changes to our curriculum. Especially with my brother involved in the decision making. Yeah, I can see what makes sense to me. We also have to account for the fact that going on our field study means that much less time. So, as you can see... It Man, look at you guys taking... Um, I probably should have asked a little earlier, but... What's this festival you guys keep talking about? Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Every year, the students here organize. There are stage events, food stalls, and all. And it generally falls to each of the first year classes to provide the main. Yeah, participate. Oh, and each of the clubs. Huh? That's up. In that case, we have. We can't just let the other class. <sighs> you. S I've already had one of the girls from. What? It must have been Ferris. <laughs> well, class one does seem to have had it. <sighs> if it's all. But we need to account for the fact that. I hmm. <sighs> It'd help if we at least. It kind of seems like everyone's happy. Come on, ev Instructor Sarah? Uh, isn't this a so- Oh, it was. But I thought you all might like to- So I decided to skip along the- What about our next field study? <laughs> the chair- Because the board voted you- <gasps> You mean- So that's how it is. You know, even though they're always hard- Considering all that happened last month- Still, 
It feels like our field studies are... Yeah. They're kind of a pain. We should be grateful to His Highness and the direct... <laughs> Seeing the hard road and the easy road, then picking the... <laughs> it also sounded like His Highness and the director, so I'll let you guys out of study hall early. Oh. If... I think I'll take you up. Without your inner, we're just relieved. Indeed. I wish I could. I could scarce though the mayor. I presume you're referring to his proposal for Crossbell's independence. Hard to believe it could act. Well, as long as both Erebonia and still, so there'll be plenty more chances for dispute. Well, neither of them. Half of it flows into the province. Uh, oh, I swear. <laughs> I was hoping for it. Oh, sure. Come on. Whoa there, I'm not sure this- Blech. Objection overruled. <sighs> Honestly, it would save us all a lot of- Lame. Oh. Say, are you from the Vander- Oh, the Nighthard- I'm Mueller Vander, of the 7th Armored Division. I was with the Prince at the conference in Croc, glad to be able to thank- The honor is ours, sir. It's an honor to meet a member of the esteemed Vander- Ah! So you're the Radiant Blade Master's daughter. And you... I'm always happy to meet fellow... Oh, and you must... Yes, that would be me. I owe a lot to Lieutenant General Vander. It sounds like he's in your debt as well. Well... <laughs> <laughs> See? And it's not just class set. Perhaps I should take this opportunity to break down social barriers, but... If you really want to work up a sweat, I'd be glad to let you run back if you kept up a good spurt. You'd actually make me do it, too. It's like their hearts that certainly one... <laughs> well, that I hope we have the chance to meet again soon.
That's a catch. Fall, I guess. Hard to believe I've already been. <sighs> huh? Toa? Hey there! <laughs> so I thought. I said, did you guys. Yep, there's enough to just. <laughs> By the way, I'll even take the. Oh, hmm, sorry. It's totally fine. Ween? I want you. Oh, it's fine. We just kind of. That doesn't change. I wasn't on the same floor where the conference, but if a shot from the railway... Toa, I'm just glad... <laughs> anyway... Huh. Oh, you said there a lot. Well, oh, hmm. You could do that, so how about it? Oh, oh, I mean, sh... <laughs> that makes... <laughs> well, it's about like...
guess the sun is still. I had. Well, Mick is always. A He's my go-to guy when there's something I can't. I think we even asked him for. Yeah. Uh huh. How did? Oh no. Don't worry about. You're carrying. Uh, well, how about we take a? You wanted to ask me something. Ooh, yeah. Well, your class doesn't have. You all could get together and. I'd thought about. Still, if we're going to. <laughs> well, you have enough, but other. I see. I don't really want to. Actually, didn't you? You. Um. Not too much. One thing they all agreed on. Uh, you. If you don't mind telling. Who knows? It might. Well, I can't turn down a chance. I'll reach down to my. Th well, a little. Wow, real? So you can. <laughs> That's how I. Angie Crow enjoy. Wow. That. So. Well, it's hard to. I'm. Not. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't hear it played. Huh? Do you have some free time? If you can't come until after your day. Tomorrow evening? Yep. Should I meet you? Oh no. Can you go to the computer? Sure thing. Does this have something to do with the <laughs> Anyway, sorry to keep asking favors of you, but would you mind if we stay out here much longer? <laughs> you have a point. But really, just leave the heavy lifting to me.
Let's give this a try. Wow, that came out well. Ooh, there we go. 